Are you comparing your spouse? Comparison is a natural tendency that we all have as human beings. You know, as children, we compare slow and fast, soft and hard, big and small, to make sense of the world. And as we grow up, we use comparison to weigh options. So we look at the pros and the cons of two alternatives in order to arrive at a wise decision. So comparison can be good, but not in marriage. Marriage is based on the premise that you have weighed up all your options before you made a commitment to your spouse. So once you're married, comparison should no longer play a part in your thinking process regarding your spouse if you want to enjoy a satisfying marriage. Comparison shows up in marriage when you find yourself estimating the similarities and the differences between your spouse and someone else, whether it's a friend, spouse or a friend or an ex or a parent at its worst Comparison means that you have measured your spouse against the standard that you believe another person has set and you have decided that your spouse is lacking. This kind of comparison is dangerous because it does two things. First, it diminishes the uniqueness of your spouse in your eyes and then it subjects them to a standard that they were not designed to meet by God. And secondly, it hinders your ability to be thankful to God for your spouse because it blinds you to all their virtues and their strengths. And all you'll be able to see is how they fall short in relation to the other person whom you have set up as a standard. So if you have a tendency to compare your spouse, stop and consider the damage that it is doing to your marriage. The feeling of dissatisfaction that you feel may be because you have lost sight of what you have and you have become obsessed with what you don't have. So choose today to cure yourself from comparison with thoughtfulness and kindness. Smarter decisions lead to better relationships.